sonomama is, I don't think sonomama is such a simple word or a simple thing. You know, sonomama is just as it is before uh, being observed by human beings, before human beings uh, expia, appear in this world. That is sonomama. But when uh, human beings uh, appeared and become an observer of things happening, human beings create uh, some thinking. And that is not sonomama. That is a copy of sonomama, copy of the reality using our thinking. So our thinking is like a screen and we create a copy of the reality. And we think that is not sonomama, but that is a kind of a fabrication. That, so it become a kind of a complicated. <laughs> and, also, and yet, when we think of human life, uh, having this screen, living uh, with the ability to make the copy of reality is reality. That is our life as it is. So uh, we, cannot, we cannot say if we stop creating the screen, then we become one with Sonomama. Then uh, it's another, another fiction. So Sonomama before human beings and Sonomama as a human life should be uh, integrated. That means we, we, as a human beings, we are living with our ability to think, that means to produce something artificial. And we need to know that, some, that production is not reality as it is. But we have to live with this ability of creating something fictitious. That is as human life as it is. So it's really complicated in a sense. And so we have to see all those uh, three uh, aspects of Sonomama. And somehow we need to go back and forth. That means we sometimes or often we negate our fiction. But we also negate about uh, negation of the fiction. Mm. Otherwise, we lose us uh, as it is in us, as human life. So uh, this is same as reality and language. Yes. If we negate language, then there is no way to live as a human beings. So uh, we have to include or back and forth that uh, language or thinking. Uh, is not as it is. And yet, without this, there's no such thing called as it is. So uh, our life is not, not so simple.